Hello everyone, I am Erika of the storytellingjeweler.com and you are watching No One Has To Be The Lone. We come together every Friday here on Facebook and beat together a design what I came up with specifically for you every week with something new. And this week we are going to work on the Malarme earrings or bracelet, depending on what you choose. The design is easy to adopt to an earring, to a bracelet, even to a cute little pendant. So it's completely up to you. And week by week, already since March, beaters from all over the world come together to beat together here. And already I see some familiar faces popping up. So Petra is here and Teresa and Eleanor and Sarah and Tanya and Kata is here also. And thank you very much for the greeting. And thank you very much, ladies, for joining me again. So I hope you are looking forward. This was a design that, you know, sometimes we say that it just flew off my needle. That sometimes there are jewels that take an incredibly long time to put together, even if they look simple. For example, even if I loved doing it, the Starry Night, Night bracelet, that took some time. However, this was like the first motive and how it turned out to be an earring. It was done in like half an hour, maybe. So this is really a project of love. And I really hope that today evening I can expand that love <laughs> to you too. And you will like reading this and then later wearing it or gifting it to someone just as much as I enjoyed designing it. In the meanwhile, also Deb and Lutka and Cheryl and Aniko and Lisa and Anne, Lynn, Viveka, Maria, Aniko, Janet and Mechtav joined us. Sarah also. Oh, and Sarah is working on a different combination of the Jenny's J pendant that is finally ready. And already she posted a nice variation, what she beaded. Cheryl is also working on something else, on some Christmas stuff, but she popped in for the company and I really appreciate it, Cheryl. And... Maria loves the design already. So, ladies, and Elena and Janine. Hello, ladies. So, the printable file, it's already available at the usual place. As always, the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the loan slash. And then you can make your decision if you would like to uh, support the broadcast by purchasing it for five euros or if you are in uh, need then it, please accept the printable file as my helping hand and you can just download it for free and yeah thank you so much for being here in any case if you like it what's happening here then please make sure to follow my page to share the news to tell about your beading friends about what's happening and to use the hashtag no one has to bead alone. And let's get started. I see also Katie joining us. And Donna joined us. Lynn is asking if half Tila's will work. Well, they are twice as wide as the quarter tilas, so you will need to make some uh, uh, some. Well, you will need to come up with a variation because three half tilas will not fit around the four millimeter fire polished bead. If you decide to go for a different size or shape of the bead, then please go on experiment. But yeah, you will need to experiment it because I worked out the design exactly 
for what is included in the material list. But please keep us keep us updated in any case that if it works out with Haftilas or no. Ula is also here working on her colors. And Alicia is also here asking for the link for the printables. Just a second. And Sharon joined us also. I will also see many of you tomorrow during the Estrella class in the late afternoon or yeah, another time of the day if you live somewhere else than my time zone. But I am already looking forward to it. Last week, we had the first online Estrella class. There were already some Estrella classes in the past when we were bidding it in real life before COVID. But last Saturday, we had the first real life one. And I was working on a new color combination and I really, I really surprised myself with what I came up with. It's not completely finished yet. I used the Crystal Golden Shadow 27 millimeter Big Stone. And then I have some Crystal Aurum Preciosa chatons all around it. And I'm usually, you might have noticed that I'm really not into monochromatic uh, color combinations, but I love this. And I'm looking forward to finishing it and looking forward to the class tomorrow. Thank you, Sarah. And Bonnie is here. And Ula is asking if Trotus can be used instead of two millimeter drugs. I think so. If uh, there will be a small, small, small difference, then you can play with the number of seed beads in the design, but Trutus, Trutus should be okay. And Cyril is coming to Estrella in January, actually, and looking forward to it. <laughs> so let's do a quick material check to make sure that you have everything and also to make sure that I have everything. So I will be working on the another part of the earring. What do you ladies think? Do you think that my bracelet is already finished? And that's why I chose that I will work on the earring. What do you think? Do you know me <laughs> already? <laughs> and Zuzi is here. And Corinne is here also. Corinne, we have to like congratulate Corinne on her determination. I had like two free spots for Estrella for tomorrow. And she wrote me yesterday, like if she can maybe, uh, maybe participate and then said like, without a kit, sorry. Nope, that's a rule. There is no class with Erica without a kit. And Corinna said like, she doesn't care if the kit, will, a kit comes the week uh, after the class, but she wants to participate if it's possible. So the kit will be traveling to her shortly <laughs> and she will receive it after the class. <laughs> but she was determined to, to join us tomorrow. So I am already looking forward. And <laughs> Cheryl says, <laughs> Kota says not yet, the bracelet is not finished yet. <laughs> Cheryl says, no bracelet needs a clasp or is only one, uh, half done. And Zuzi says, just wanted to greet you, half of the bracelet only. And Frida is here also. Hello, Frida. And she will work on the star and it's as a Christmas gift for a friend at work. And that's so nice. And Sue is here also. And Lutka says that she has purse with only one hole. Lutka, the purse should be with one hole. The quarter tilas have to be with two holes. Everything else has only one hole. So if you have the big purse, the six millimeter ones, they exist in one hole and two hole variations and you will need the one hole purse. And 
And I must say, ladies, yeah. <laughs> and I will put together for Karina an autumn kit with some slight variations because of Swarovski not offering the beads I need anymore. But we will work out everything. And Zuzi is not beading, but making banana pancakes. And I must say, ladies, that I think you know me too well. Teresa says, I'm afraid to ask. Here it is. Here is the bracelet coming. There is a clasp. There is a cabochon. There is one motif, two motifs, three motifs, four motifs. And that's it. <laughs> I have four motifs, a cabochon and half a clasp. By the way, while I was working on this, I also realized that it could be a beautiful, beautiful long statement earring with a cabochon, with several motifs, with or without a drop at the bottom. It doesn't matter, but I think it would look absolutely elegant three or four. What do you think? So, oh yes, Sarah says, do an earring of it. <laughs> and Donna says, over half done. Yes, actually, I am more, I have more than half of it because I need three more motifs and one more cabochon. But let's get back to your material check. So, for one motif, I uh, didn't specify the numbers here. Please download that. How many of each bead do you need? Because of course it's very different if you are making a pendant or an earring or a bracelet, but please refer to the, uh, to the printable file for the exact amounts. There you have everything. First the earring tutorial and the material list. And then a little after the instructions, you have the bracelet tutorial and the materialist, everything included in the file that you can download. So first of all, you will need, of course, the metal components, either an earring hook or the clasp. You will also need, if you want to include some bezeled cabochons, you will need eight millimeter chatons or rivolis. And the one that you see on my picture, I used, again, a Preciosa Chaton 8 millimeter. And it's actually, I wanted to show you the difference because it's really interesting to see. There are two golden colors. I will show you my beading mat. There are two golden colored Chatons from Preciosa. And one is the true golden color, the Aurum, what I used in this Estrella pendant last week. And there is the other one that I used for the Malarme set. So that is like, like, like antique gold. So this is how they look next to each other. The, if you, if you are maybe thinking of either of them. So the more yellow is the Aurum. And then there is also the Monte Carlo gold. So today I am going for the Monte Carlo gold. You can also use uh, a different cabochon, of course, a different size, a different shape. You can skip using a cabochon. And actually, originally I had an idea for, for the bracelet that I wanted to alternate between the cabochons and between the motifs. So the original idea was to include a bezeled cabochon after every second motif. So that's also something that you can do. You can maybe include a bigger one on the, in the middle, and then as you progress towards the sides, then you can include smaller rivolis or chatons. So there are really, really endless possibilities. And that's what I love to see after the broadcast in the Storytelling Beading Club, how you come up with all the different variations and alternatives. 
<laughs> and Elena likes the idea of the earring that Kata says, but again, it is just half a pair of a long earring. So true, so true. And already the clasp is attached and I don't want to get rid of that. And Joanna is here and Kay, hello, and Patrick Chantal. So, yeah. Again, back to the material. <laughs> Besides the cabochon, you will also need quarter tilla beads. You will need six millimeter check glass purse. You will need two millimeter drug beads. You will need Miyuki Delicas. You will need round seat beads, size 11 and size 15. Actually, in the earrings, I have only the size 15. And also like most of the bracelet is done with five, uh, size 15, only here at the joints, I use number 11s to make, to make the joints dirtier. So little info, extra info. You will also need four millimeter fire polished beads. Those are the glittery ones in the middle. And if you would like to, then you can include a drop at the bottom of the earring. Uh, I, it was the first time for me, actually, that I used this cool navet-shaped pendant drop. We have a couple of colors in at the storytellingjeweler.com, and I was really, really looking forward to using them. And there are many different colors. And I love them. After the, after the earring, actually, I started to work on a brooch during the weekend. And this is how it looks like. So in the middle, I have a cabochon. And then, thanks to these rainbow colors, uh, and as the navet pendant drops are arranged, into this circle shape, then I think it's really cool how it looks like that the middle is gold because of the cabochon and then there are yellow uh, tones and then there are red tones around it. So yeah, check them out. We have many, many different colors and let's get started. I bet you started already, right? <laughs> So, first step, and I'm also showing my second camera. Just a moment. So, this is it. And I work with Fireline number 12 or 4LB. And this time I'm working with a, uh, a pony beading needle. I leave a tail of 10 to 12 centimeters or five, six inches. I picked up a four millimeter fire polished bead. Then I pick up three quarter tilla beads. I bead one more time through the fire polished bead. And then the quarter tilla beads are arranged around the fire polished beads, bead in this fan shape. And I need to do the same one more time. So I pick up three more quarter tilla beads and I bead through the fire polished bead one more time to create one more of this fan shaped decoration around it. Oh, and the ladies already have some ideas for variations. Elena says, the eight millimeters indeed have a different look in the end. Thanks for demonstrating. Gladly. I love both shades, by the way. And Corinna says, maybe a large navet in between. Corinna, if you like the idea of large navets. 
keep looking at the advent calendar offers because there is something very special coming and Cyril says the caps rivalries would make a good starting point for the long earrings with a start finding gone that would look awesome that would look super elegant Cheryl. so and i am exiting again the four millimeter fire polished bead and I pick up a six millimeter round pearl and a number 15 Miyuki seed bead. Now I bead back through the six millimeter round pearl and the fire polished beads bead. Tanya is excited already. I can promise that they will be oh, they will they will be very nice. And there are lots of new stuff coming st coming still. <laughs> and now on the other side of the fire polished bead, I do the same. That I pick up a six millimeter fire uh, six millimeter pearl, and I pick up around fifteen seed bead, and I bead one more time through the fire uh, so i bead back through the pearl and one more time through the fire polished bead and when i pull my thread the tension needs to be tight then it looks like this colorful strange bug i would say with six legs as the quarter tilas the fire polished bead as the body and then the head and the bum <laughs> <laughs> the six millimeter pearl it's a little bit like maybe a big ant a beautiful colorful ant i don't know what do you think but immediately as i looked at this i was kind of thinking about insects <laughs> and i need to hide now the first picture and want to show you the third one so this is so fast by the way so i just noticed that i was talking a lot but this is super fast so exiting the fire polished bead in the middle i bead through all three quarter tila beads on one side the inside hole the same holes of the quarter tila beads that I was using before. And when I have that, I bead backwards through the open hole of the last quarter tila. So my thread is hanging towards the quarter tila in the middle. And now I will bead all around the edge of the motif and I fill in two millimeter drug beads between the open holes of the quarter tila beads. And I fill in groups of five number 11 delica beads between the quarter tilas on the sides and between the round 15 holding the six millimeter round pearl. And the thread tension needs to be tight, but don't worry if it seems like it's a little bit floppy because we will go all around more times. And also you can start, uh, you can repeat the thread pass as many times as you find it necessary. And in the meanwhile, I want to say a big, big welcome and hi to Susanna. We spent some lovely days last year together in Stuttgart exhibiting at a creative fair. So I am beading all around. the motif filling in my drug beads and filling in my groups of delica beads. And ladies, Susan, 
you have to tell me how are you and other ladies you have to update me how is it going with your little malarme motives this is like i'm three quarters done already and i'm picking up the last five delica beads i love this fresh green color again i'm back to this like springy color combinations and i think the color of the of this net pendant was a bit surprising but somehow it just i knew it that i have to use this color sometimes you just feel you feel it <laughs> So, Tanya's update. Tanya says, I'm not beating, only watching and enjoying. We'll beat tomorrow. I'm glad that still, like, even without beating, that you are here, Tanya. And I hope that you have a fury, one of your fury little doggies nearby, resting his or her head on your lap and you can scratch the ears and kiss the nose <laughs> and hug the beast. <laughs> Hello to the doggies. And Katalin's in on, uh, it's go, uh, for Katalin it's going well, step eight. Lutka. Lutka is curious, how will it go with, with the colors and so far, it's going well. Katy is also watching. And Tanya has three dogs around. I'm sending three hugs then. <laughs> Elena is beading today and tomorrow too. And Georgie joined us also. Hello, Georgie. So I'm filling in the last group of five and going for step five i'm not that behind step four i was going to say i'm not that much behind but yes i am <laughs> and i am repeating the thread pass with a little modification when i am in over the middle quarter tila bead then instead of passing through the outside hole the second hole of the quarter tila i pick up two miyuki delica beads and then i bead directly to the drug bead the two millimeter drug bead so instead of beading through the quarter tila in the middle i skip the quarter tila and i add two delica beads at both sides of the little motif. And Eleanor says that it works well with two millimeter fire polished beads. I'm very, very happy to hear that, Eleanor. Then I hope Ula is also all right with her two millimeter with her two with her true two beads chloe joined us okay sharon can't find quarter tilas but watching malka is here Megtop says i wish i can be and write at the same time but if i do that i miss the next step <laughs> Katie says, so sad today. We had to help my dog pass yesterday. I'm so sorry about that, Katie. Was it a he or a she? And what kind of breed? I'm sorry about that.
in the meanwhile, I am fellow beaters are writing condolences for Kathy. And in the meanwhile, I will just quietly say I am still repeating for the third time the thread pass with a little modification. And now I feel in an older Delica bead in between the two that I added during the previous step. So this will make the little motif sturdier and it will make it super pointy here and here. And I really like how it how it looks like. And I think that this shape is like very or oriental and it reminds me of architecture from India, for example, the shapes of windows were from Morocco. Thank you for the for your kindness, ladies. An English Spaniel. I see she was 14 years old. I'm glad that you had such a long time together with her. In the meanwhile, we got some updates also about possible variations. So Donna is using size eight beads instead of the drug beads and Lynn works with two half tilas instead of the three quarter tilas and it works well too. What was her name, Katie? And after this step, if you feel like, I think that my motive is like sturdy enough, I am happy with it. But if you think that yours needs a little bit of more sturdying, <laughs> strengthening, then please go all around one or two more times. Thank you, ladies, for your kindness to each other. So I have my little motive ready. And I would like to finish another piece of earring. So I have a complete pair. So I am now moving on to my chaton. I am exiting one of the Delica beads that I added during the previous step. And I am picking up a new Delica and attaching it to the one on the side. So I have this extra, extra delica bead. And Kathy, don't ever, ever feel sorry about sharing something. We share good news, we share bad news, we share everything. We listen to each other, 
we laugh with each other when someone shares something funny when Cheryl doesn't have pants. We, we share also moments when someone has, has something harder going on. So we share everything, everything that is part of life. Good moments are part of life and losses are unfortunately also part of life. Exactly as Tanya says. Thank you, Tanya. And Lynn is asking, by the way, is it December 24 yet? <laughs> so I think Lynn is getting impatient about Secret Santa, right? <laughs> So I am exiting the new Delica bead, and this is how I like to attach bezeled cabochons to all kinds of designs, that instead of starting a new thread, I will now pick up 21 uh, Delica beads, and together with this, I join them into a circle, I bead through the Delica I am exiting now one more time, so then the one plus 21, it makes for 22 Delica beads. And that will be the base for my bezel for this chaton. And if you are using a different size or different shape, then you need to adjust this number. And please let me like recount my beads because I am really afraid that I will mess it up if I am talking uh, when I am counting. So I will now count my beads. <laughs> and 22. So here I bead one more time through the Delica that I attached in step six and I have a circle just as if I would have if I started a bezel on its own. So now I can just continue bezeling as is exactly exactly in the same way as if I would have done it if I started a new thread and a circle of Delica beads. I like to like not pull the thread in this first circle 100% because then it would be a little bit harder, hard to work with peyote. When you start a bezel on its own, then it's not something that you keep on your mind since usually you don't have a knot, you just have a tail, so the beads have a little bit of a flexibility. However, when you are connecting a bezel to something existing, then you want to give them a little bit of possibility to, to move. So don't pull your thread 100%, pull it for 95%, okay? And back to Secret Santa. Actually, ladies, my sister Eva had double checked. So she noticed some packages that were not marked as sent. So please make sure that you mark your package sent when you sent it. And when you receive your package, that you also mark it that you received your Secret Santa package. It makes her life so much easier. I can say, like, uh, she's she's spending lots and lots of time making sure that everything is all right. So please help her with this. That please mark in the program if your package was sent and if your package was delivered. Thank you so much. And Joanna says, I told my husband if a package came for me uh, that looked like it was from a secret Santa to, to hide it. <laughs> that's 
such a good idea because usually we send the packages with track and trace so then there is the address of the one sending the package needs to be written on the package so it's not a secret anymore it's still so much fun but this is a great idea <laughs> Tanya, I think it's okay. We also see it when we click on the pro program, then there are there is also the option that if I click your name, then there would be like the match of you rece uh, received the package already. So I think it's I think it's okay. And Lynn is shaking her box just like she did when she was a child. <laughs> no starting early. We will all wait, hopefully, to the 24th of December to open the packages. And then we can share pictures in the club and really have like Christmas spirit or Hanukkah spirit or whatever holiday spirit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maktab, that you missed it. Next year, we will for sure have Secret Santa again next year. Like, I think it's one of the, I have to grab some more number 15 seed beads. I think the secret Santa is one of the best things happening in the club. So for sure, there will be one. Just uh, make sure that you also like follow the group, that you mark the group, that you follow what's happening there. And then you always get announcements when something is happening. And by the way, ladies, are you working on earrings, bracelets, pendants, anklets? <gasps> what are you working on? <laughs> I'm curious to learn. Oh, Hanukkah started last night. Then happy Hanukkah. <laughs> for everyone who celebrates that's so nice actually i really really love this special time that it doesn't matter what kind of religion but so many so many like special really uh, special holidays are coinciding already we had a little bit earlier diwali then now it's hanukkah christmas is coming it's truly a special time of the year to slow down and to focus on, on families and friends and precious, precious people and precious things. And Lutka is working on earrings. Donna is working on a bracelet and reading the fourth motif. Petra is also working on a bracelet. Eleanor is working on earrings and purple and turquoise. And Sharon, earrings for now. Once I find all the materials, then on to the bracelet. Maria is working on a bracelet. And that will make an anklet. Oh, and of course, it was also Thanksgiving. So it's truly a, truly a special time. In our household, it's also special because Adam will celebrate his birthday just a couple of days before Christmas on the 24th, 21st. And in Hungary, uh, I come from Slovakia, but culturally we are Hungarian or uh, yeah <laughs> we are hungarian culturally influenced by slovak culture too and in both cultures actually uh names days name days are a big thing so every 
every, every name, every first name, it has a designated day in the calendar year, and that's when you like celebrate. So Adam, the name Adam is also on the 24th of December. So, she, uh, so he has like three holidays in the matter of three days. That is, yeah, a magical time, not so much for the one who is selecting gifts, because normally you could give like three books, in his case, three video games, but you want to alternate a little bit if the, all the holidays are during such a short time. <laughs> so all the family, all the family, they have like usually big, big, big trouble finding suitable gifts, <laughs> which are like, then like, not all the same, for example. <laughs> Katie's son is also celebrating on the 23rd. And Maktab is making long earrings. Sherry is also making earrings. It seems like earrings are the most popular today. Elena is also making earrings, cobalt, fuchsia, lime, and turquoise. Very colorful, but it is looking nice in the end. Thank you, Katie. And Kata says, earrings, but I got an idea for a pendant. And then bracelet. I am super curious, what do you come up with? Your trillion angel. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. And Maria says that in Greece, they also celebrate names days and then birthdays. <laughs> Deb, same day birthday as my son, but have two sisters born on the 23rd of December, 11 years apart. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. And there is also Kwanzaa and Boxing Day. <laughs> Cheryl. She's a big book lover. She says, I would love three books that close, that close together. I also wouldn't mind like three books or three big packages of beads. <gasps> All in thread broke. I hope you don't have to start like completely from the beginning. By the way, you ladies recommended uh, that I finally uh, hear now that I'm like nearly 40 years old, that it's time to read Harry Potter. So I started to read Harry Potter just after you recommended it to me. And I'm loving it. It's so good. <laughs> really, like, I'm, I'm absolutely like hooked. 100% hooked. I sneak in reading like every time I can. Uh, one day last week I got up earlier but it was like near the time that I wanted to get up so it was no use to like forcing myself to trying to go back to sleep. So I haven't done something like this since I was like a I was at university so I grabbed my phone and I was using it as a torchlight and I was reading Harry Potter under the bed uh, cover <laughs> so I don't wake up Adam. <laughs> so thank you so much for the, for the experience of reading Harry Potter because it's, I, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Teresa says, Three Kings Day Epiphany on the 6th of January. And Deb's earrings, the first one is nearly done. They are dark blue and marigold and a different drop didn't have any drops. 
Deb, can you maybe please tell me what is marigold? Like, there are words in English that unfortunately I don't, that are less used and I don't know them. So can you please tell me what shade is marigold? <laughs> and Kitty says, I love how you can beat talk and read or comments. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Well, it is definitely a new skill that I learned in 2020. <laughs> and doing it sometimes with bigger, sometimes with smaller success. <laughs> and Sharon loves Harry Potter. She actually loves, loves, loves Harry Potter. <laughs> Sarah haven't read it or seen it yet. I hear from my friends that the books are a lot better than the than the films. I don't know if fellow Harry Potter readers, watchers, what do you think? But I decided that first I will read all the books and then I will watch the films. I like it like now I have in my imagination my own version. Of course, I know how does Harry Potter look. There is no way of not knowing how does he look in the in the in the film. But you know, until you are reading, you still have your own version of the characters and own version of the of the location. And I don't want to like kill my imagination by watching the movies. So I will wait until the end. <laughs> and Gunnel haven't decided yet, but uses silver, lilac, and dark blue. Sherry also loves Harry Potter. <gasps> and Sherry says, it's a Sir Isaac Newton's birthday on the 25th. Also for those science nerds amongst us, it's called Newton Mass. Cheryl, one year I actually gifted Adam a Christmas tree decoration with the face of uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Zuzi, it was Zuzi who was making it for me, actually. I ordered it from her. Do I remember it well? It was like 10 years ago. She can work with, uh, you know, the, oh my God, how do you call it when you put a picture under, under, like it looks like glass, but you mix two, two things and then you put this liquid on top of the picture and then it gets sturdy and you have like a, a, a little picture under under very, very hard plastic. So she was, Zuzi was making me Christmas tree decorations also with the face of Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> and Dev says it's yellowish orange, the marigold. Very yellow is here. Sarah is using Fuchsia. Ah, thank you so much, Kata. <laughs> Raisin or epoxy, yes, indeed. <laughs> By the way, somebody was complimenting me that I can read and talk and uh, uh, read at the same time. However, I'm not sure if I counted my bezel right and if I have the, I started to attach on the other side the delica on top of the bezel and the loop for my earring hook, but I'm not sure if I have the right number of beads. No, it's okay. It's okay. I got scared a little bit. <laughs> and Ola says, I know all the Harry Potter books by heart. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm on the fifth book now, nearly at the end. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And I'm really, I'm really enjoying it, how the story and the characters are developing. It sometimes really pisses me off that very often the solution to some problems was to like if Harry told some of the adults what's happening and it would solve it like this or if he asked for advice if or if he just shared that there is some kind of trouble but I guess like <laughs> yeah all 15 years old are not so maybe not so great with communication so I totally understand it <laughs> it's just sometimes it makes me angry that I feel like it would be so easy it also like often in real life we have the same that better communication would solve so many problems so maybe that's why I have a I am a little bit angry when somebody is not willing to to share. <laughs> and I just broke my bead. At the bezel, I was not giving attention to it and I I broke a bead in the bezel. But I will I will repair it. And Teresa is asking if I'm re reading it in English, Hungarian or Slovak. I'm reading it in English. <laughs> uh, I really love reading in Hungarian, actually. Maybe also because I don't have that many chance to, that, that many possibilities to, to use a, Okay, actually, at home we talk Hungarian, but still, like, I miss speaking Hungarian to someone else than I have. <laughs> so I love reading in Hungarian, also because many of my favorite books I have read in Hungarian when my English was not good enough yet. And I have to say I read in Slovak. I... Uh, I read mostly like not so many things. <laughs> I read a lot during university in Slovak language as I finished university in Slovak language. But since then, somehow I'm not reading that much. I mean, like not literature. And yeah, if, if something originally is in English, then I stick to English. And Tanya has to go. So thank you for joining us, Tanya, and have a lovely weekend. And Lutka is asking if it's easier to read in English. You know, I don't like these days, I don't really feel a difference anymore. I feel like I understand it on this as the same in Slovak and Hungarian and English. The only thing is that since Hungarian is my mother tongue, then I think even if I read the same book, for example, in Slovak or English, and even if I understand all the words that are, for example, in a sentence, the emotions are triggered most intensely if I read it in Hungarian. It's just, yeah, that's how I grew up. That's my mother's tongue. So I think it's it's the same for everyone that when you are reading something in your mother's tongue, then it, yeah, it just has a deeper impact. It has to be like super nicely written to have the same impact on me.
in uh, in different in another languages like for example i have read the book uh, oh my god uh, from salman rajdi the princess of florence and that was so beautifully written i have read it in english and i was like wow oh, totally 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 amazed by it but usually i like to read in hungarian And Cheryl says, my brain isn't doing well with my project. It wants to be beating this raider than what I need to. I know that you are working on some Christmas gifts. Can't this be a Christmas gift, maybe? And Ula is working with yellow, orange, and black. Sarah has the same problem as Cheryl. And Teresa says, of course, the mother tongue wins. It's the same with Japanese first and real close second English. I grew up bilingual. Wow, that's amazing, Teresa. <laughs> and in which country did you grow up? And Sheria says, I have only 10 rows left of a 60 row project, but next time I will stop what I'm doing. I think you are right. <laughs> so, and usually I only beat the main motive during the, during the broadcast, but I really wanted to show today also how do I attach the pendant drop, because I know that sometimes uh, some, uh, some beaders would love to see that. So I am exiting now. I beat it, I finished my cabochon. I added the loop where I will attach the earring and then I beat it all the way down to the opposite end of the motif. And this is how I will attach the drop. So my thread is hanging from the right to left. And I start by picking up three number 15 seed beads. And now I pick up the drop and I pick up three number 15 seed beads. And I bead into the delica at the bottom of the motif from the direction as my thread is exiting. So when I am uh pulling my thread tight then at this point the seed beads and the drop they are all hanging to one side so it might seem that it's not great however in the second step i am beading back from beading back through everything three seed beads, navet, and three more seed beads. And this time I am entering the Delica bead from the side as my thread was hanging when I started this step. So I'm always attaching the seed beads to both sides of the Delica bead or the bead what is at the bottom. And while at the beginning, here is the Delica, the seed beads and the navet are on one side. Since I attach it then to the other side too, then they will get pulled to the middle and it will be nice and even. And now all what is left is that I, will, I am going to retrace the thread pass through the drop one more time. And then I will be securing my thread ends, trimming them, and I will attach the other half of the earring and that's it and it's done. And Teresa was born and raised in Japan until she was 17, then to university in Pennsylvania. You will have to tell us more about your life in Japan. Like 
for me, that's like such a distant culture and such a distant, beautiful country. I would love visit to visit it one day, but I have a feeling I know so, so, so little about it. <laughs> And Elena says, oh, by the way, Adam is reading a book about uh, Japanese history these days. So I'm also, he's uh, reading it as an audio book. So I'm sometimes listening to it. <laughs> and Elena says that her earrings will become a Christmas gift. And Donna is anxious to see if you all like my colors I have chosen or not. I'm very curious about them, Don. I'm sure they are great. And Elena working on this second earring and very happy with the result. She likes the pattern. <laughs> Share one too. So ladies, do you have any, any other questions left? about the design or something else i'm still very happy to answer your questions so and yvette is here hello sister she says i have been listening to the broadcast for some time now so good to hear your stories <laughs> good to have you here so ladies Thank you very much for joining me today. I am really looking forward to meeting many of you tomorrow during the Estrella class. Please keep an eye also on the storytelling advent calendar. Every day we are coming with surprises and little, not so little, discounts to you. Yesterday the ladies prepared for everyone participating a little gift package with some surprises. So keep an eye on the emails from Yvette and keep an eye on the special group. And yeah, that's it. I am looking forward. I am really, really looking forward to see your variations and wishing you a peaceful, relaxing, creative weekend. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.